JT, another solid round. Only one in between the leader here. Uh, just kind of, how'd the round go today? Uh, it was solid. Um, I really hit the ball good today and feel like I had a lot of control of my golf ball, which is always nice. Um, another bogey free round. So again, it's just, it's just been really solid. And so for tomorrow, I'll try and do the same thing and hopefully get a few more putts to drop because I think I'm going to need a low one. How do you approach it when you're four shots back but still in the final group? Yeah, I mean, it's it's kind of a funny funny place to be. I mean, Lee's playing some great golf. Um, I would expect him to do the same tomorrow. I know he's chasing his first win, and um, it's probably only a matter of time until he gets it done out here. So um, for me to get it done, I'm going to have to probably shoot something lower than I have uh, so far this week. Even with how consistent you've been, I mean, three straight 66s is, is, is really talented. How do you chase something even lower than that? Is it just being maybe a little bit more aggressive? You know, I feel like I've, like I said, I've got good control of the golf ball, and I've hit a lot of good quality shots, and I just haven't had, you know, the first day I, I putted it really well and made a lot of good putts, uh, but it was playing really tough that day, and um, I think with the easier conditions, if I can putt it like I did that first day and hit it like I have been, then I could, I could probably steal a few more and shoot seven, eight, maybe nine under par, but I don't think I'll change anything. I, I'm hitting it good. I'm hitting a lot of greens, and that's all you can really ask and just try and get the putter hot. How big or small is a five-shot lead out on this course? Um, I, I mean, I don't know that the course has anything to do with it. I'm, I think five-shot lead's a five-shot lead. I mean, he's he's played really well the first few days, obviously, and um, it's never easy to win, but it, it's nice to have a little bit of a cushion, I guess. But um, yeah, I mean, this golf course yields some birdies, so my, my goal is to try and put some pressure early and, and see where we end up at the end of the day. What's your mindset on the 16th tee when they move it up like 100 yards? Do you know that everyone's going to have a chance to, to go for it there? Yeah, I mean, it's it's a it's a definite birdie hole. I mean, it already feels like it's a birdie hole if you can get one in the fairway, but um, when they make it drivable like that, you're just trying to position yourself where you can make an easy three, an easy birdie, and kind of keep your round going because – if you make par there or worse, you really feel like you're losing a shot in the field. You feel like a long par three? Pretty much. I mean, it's, yeah, it's, it's you know, with that wind today down off the right, too, made it easier than it could have been uh, with a different wind. But uh, you still have to hit good shots. I mean, you're still hitting driver, so it's a, still a hard par three if you're hitting driver. You've been in these positions before, around the lead, at the lead, after three rounds. What What is Lee dealing with over the next 24 hours as he sleeps on a lead and it's not easy. I mean, I my last win at the John Deere, I slept on the lead a few days in a row, and so it's just it's it's an uncomfortable feeling, but it's exciting at the same time. I mean, this is why we play. This is why we're out here. This is all our, this is all of our goals is to win, and Lee's no different. And um, you know, he's he's won at other levels, and so I'm sure he'll be drawing off of that and trying to get it done tomorrow too. Have you been paired with Lee before, and if so, do you remember last time? Um, I don't know. I feel like we definitely have been paired together out here. I feel like it's been a while, but he's a good buddy. I mean, we've played some practice rounds together, and um, I know him, know him really well. He's a good friend, and so if I can't get it done tomorrow, I'll be pulling for him.